to the morning show here on Arise News. Annually, social, cultural, and business events and fora raking billions of naira for the economy. This is a sector often ignored, with most people unaware of what it takes to organize events of international magnitude. Our next guest is the chief executive officer of Bamora Group, Ezekiel Adamo. He's one of the foremost events organizers in Lagos, Nigeria, and he's here to discuss the event's economy, its growth, and challenges. Good morning, Ezekiel. Good morning. Welcome to the morning good show. Morning. Good morning, Ezekiel. Good to see you. Nice yes, this good, morning. good. It's good to have you here. Thank so you. talk to us about the events business. When did you get into it, and how does this impact our economy? Okay, so I started with events uh, every while I was in university, um, about 13 years ago. So we started about, um, in, I started in the UK, and then moved it to Nigeria. Um, we've um, been doing events now for about, we started with venues. We started with venues and events. So now we're creating our own events now. Now we're talking about what affects events economically, politically, and then socially. Um, we have a lot of big events in Nigeria, like major events, but uh, I feel like we need to concentrate more on like heritage events, okay. events that impact on the tourism, events that impact on the economy, and things like that. Um, recently, Lagos State has taken a great initiative to actually put an event calendar together, and that's what they are selling, and I think that's a fantastic uh, initiative. You, you just said Lagos. heritage events. Yes, what heritage. is that? So heritage event is like your Lagos Carnival. Okay. Your Argungu Fishing Festival. Okay. Uh, events like that like bring a lot of international um, spectators into the country. Where you have major events like concerts and all of that, that appears to be major, but those have minimal effect on the economy or even tourism. So I feel like um, to actually ha work on heritage events, we need government input, we need government to support those kind of events. Like I mentioned, Argungu Fishing <laughs> Festival is actually a major event, but I think it's been discontinued for a while now. What, what kind of service do you provide to your clients? So what we do as Balmora Group is uh, we have uh, four different segments. We have the Balmora Venues, which we have a network of venues. We have Balmora Live, which is about live events. So we have companies coming or organizations, even government coming and say, oh, we have this idea of this event. So we work for them from the, from the conception of the event to design and then to execution of the event. That's what we do. Then we have Bamura exhibitions. Exhibitions are actually a major driver for economy. I remember reading a book on uh, Rudy Giuliani when he took over New York. Mm -hmm. And New York was actually uh, in, in, in chaos. They had a lot of crime, a lot of things. The first thing he did was like, I need to get investors into New York. How did he do that? He knows New York is problematic. So first thing he did was I started by building convention centers. With this convention center, they started doing major exhibitions. These exhibitions are the ones that bring in all these major companies together, and that's when government can come up with policies and all of that. So you can't go there and say, I'm going to, each organization is going to meet government officials, say, this is what we plan to do, this is what we want to do. But getting industries together, getting segments, say, sectors together to come for an exhibition, show what they're trying to do, and, show, and actually partner with local business, and I feel like that is the way events and exhibitions should go. So is your company organizing any exhibition? Yes, yeah, so we, we started with one last year, which is the International Drinks Festival. Okay. And what came about that was that we hear a lot of stories on drinks in Nigeria. We hear, oh, Nigeria is the highest consumer of alcohol, or of, um, what's it called, champagne in the world. We hear a lot of things, but there's no data to back it up. And we found out that major drinks company in the world, or major drink co countries in the world, have a platform. A platform where they get all the drinks company together and Nigeria was lacking in that regard. So we came up with International Drinks Festival where we have the drink summit, which is about the, drink, the business of drinks. We have the exhibition part of it and we have the sales and tasting and all that. So it's actually a platform where we get distributors from all around the country to come in for a three-day event and we get all the drinks companies as well to come together for a three-day event where they discuss the economies of events. In that way, you get adequate data. Is that data you use to determine trends of what of the drink trends in, 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 in the rest of, in other parts of the world? And all You've things. mentioned three categories of services mm -hmm. that you offer. Yes. Bamura Live, Bamura Venue, Bamura Exhibition. Yes. Now, where is the only part? Which is the more profitable category? I would say the venues. How? Mm -hmm. say Why? the venues. Uh, because the venues are like what keep us afloat. That's what, you can't have an event without a venue. And then what we do is that we have um, like a key, we have um, strategic locations 
for our events. We know we've been in this. We started with events. Uh, I think we are one of the foremost event um, venues in Nigeria. So we understand what Nigerians want. Nigerians want, I mean, we are, we're in the business of selling comfort. We want people who want to come to a venue that has adequate parking, that has um, good air conditioning, that has um, I a mean, very good ambience, and that's, that's, what we, well, that's what we're selling. Well, I mean, you are based in Lagos, yes, basically. That's right, that's right. Now, if you want to compare, you know, uh, between the mainland and the Lagos island, uh, where do they have more more events during so the we, week, so particularly we these Owambe parties? <laughs> <laughs> so Owambe parties, I would say, more on the mainland. And the island okay. will have more. Thank you. We guys on the mainland. <laughs> we are better than the Lagos Island people. Eh? Yes, the mainland, mainland have more weddings, more parties, more burials, and things like that. While on the island, you have more um, corporate events. Yes. Um, I would say, I mean, with like your Owen Bears, it's mainly weekends. So the Owen Bear culture is what? Can you explain it to, for some of our viewers? The Owen Bear culture is actually. A social culture in Nigeria. Yes. It is a culture where, and like I say, it uh, no, doesn't matter what happens in Nigeria, events will always do well because Nigerians have this mentality like if things don't go well, they want to go to events to celebrate. If things are going well, they want to also celebrate. So we're actually. That's why we're the happiest people in the world. <laughs> that's how we are. It doesn't matter what happens, so we're always happy. Yeah. So I mean, the, that's the culture of the OMB. Okay, so do you think Nigeria is lacking in these exhibitions that you talked about? Because I kind of feel like we are very, um, we're into exhibitions in Nigeria. The Art X uh, exhibition is out there. There's like so many um, exhibitions going on in Nigeria. I don't, I don't see that as a challenge to it's, our it's economy. It's interesting that you mentioned Art X. Yes. Um, like last year, Art X had an event, um, I think it was sometime in October. I think they've had it twice now, I believe. Yeah, so yes, so I mean, they had it sometime in October. Yes. And then our text has a way of bringing a lot of international uh, spectators and buyers of art into the country. And a week afterwards, there was another event on art and things like that. And then that didn't have a lot of people coming. So I think what Lagos State Government have done is that they've put together, they've structured it together now to have like an art week. So it's just not art X, you have different exhibitions that are going on on art, on designs, on everything for a whole week. And I think that's the way to go about it. It's about coordinating it. It's about putting a structure to it. Like, for example, where China has over 300 exhibitions in a year. Nigeria probably have about 35 exhibitions in a year. 35? You can, yeah, about 35 okay. major exhibitions in a year. You can see a huge, a huge gap and all of that. And with exhibition is what moves economies forward, is what moves industry forward. So I feel like coordinating it is the way to go. What are the major challenges you have faced in this line of business? I mean, do people destroy some of your things? You know, do people, um, do you have issues getting diesel, considering I mean, the fire? Like I said, we, what are the, challenges? the challenges are challenges that, we, I mean, that concerns everyone that does business. You have power, the like power you mentioned earlier. Also. The power is a major, major issue. We have issue of double taxation. Like, I mean, we have all sorts of taxes coming at us every day without even considering how we keep our businesses alive. But I think um, we are working on that now with the Lagos State Government to see how they can reduce on the double taxes. Yeah, ord ordinarily, you don't get any support from government. N ordinarily, we don't. We don't get any support from government. I think government actually feel like we're making so much money, so uh, it's, they, they're trying to take a lot. But how affordable are your services? Very affordable. I mean, compared to other parts of the world, you find out that events, venues are not cheap and they are time bound. I mean, if you go, for example, your O2 center, if you want to go for a concert there, they will tell you, you only have four hours there. If you go to a co hotel or Balmora Convention Center Federal Palace, you book for a venue, it's pretty much for a whole day. So we are pretty much flexible in terms of our pricing and all. But those, those, those charges run into millions. We well, make I mean, it sound so simple. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, people who rent event venues, uh, they mean, belong the, to a certain class. No, no, no. It depends on where you want to have your event. Like I said, if you want to buy a property as well, I'm sure buying property in Victoria Island and buying property in an other part of uh, Lagos, there's a difference in it. So it depends on your own economy. It depends on where you want to have your event. It well, varies a lot. Thank you so well, much you for much. joining thank us. You I wish you much. success in your um, you. Thank you. It's time now for a short break on The Morning Show. When we return, we'll review some of the headlines on today's newspapers. Stay with us.